Hello everyone, this is Sir Ivan. In the previous two videos, we have learned about the various time series patterns and forecasting methods. In relation to these, we will now discuss additional funds needed or AFN. Additional funds needed or AFN is the total amount of external financing needed to support a company's growth. An increase in sales typically requires an increase in assets, and these assets are financed either internally and or externally. Internal sources include spontaneous liabilities and retained earnings. If internal sources are not enough to support the company's growth, the company needs to obtain external financing. AFN is equal to the projected increase in assets, less spontaneous increase in liabilities, less increase in retained earnings. Based on the formula, there are five key factors that determine the need for external financing. Take note that S sub zero stands for the sales during the past year, while S sub one stands for the sales projected for the coming year. The sales growth denoted as delta S is the increase in sales computed as a difference between S sub 1 and S sub 0. Generally, the higher the expected sales growth, the greater will be the required increase in assets. The capital intensity ratio is a percentage of required assets to sales. The higher the capital intensity ratio, the greater will be the required increase in assets for every unit of sale. Spontaneous liabilities are liabilities that increase spontaneously with sales. They include accounts payable and accruals, but exclude bank loans and bonds. The higher the spontaneous liabilities to sales ratio, the lower will be the need for external financing. The profit margin is computed as net income over sales. The higher the profit margin, the larger will be the net income available to support increases in assets and the lower will be the need for external financing. The retention ratio refers to the percentage of net income that is retained in the business. The higher the retention ratio, the higher will be the retained earnings and the lower will be the need for external financing. Suppose that a company has the following figures. Let's first compute for each of the components and the AFN formula. The sales growth is equal to the sales projected for the coming year less the sales during the past year. This is 3,300 less 3,000. That is 300. The capital intensity ratio is simply assets over sales, or in this case, that's 2,000 over 3,000. That is 0 0.6667. Spontaneous liabilities include only accounts payable and accruals. That's 60 plus 140. That is 200. Hence, spontaneous liabilities to assets ratio is 200 over 3000 or 0 0.6667. Margin is net income over sales. In this case, that's 117.5 over 3000 or 0.03917. Retention ratio is the percentage of net income retained in the business. The amount of net income retained in the business is equal to net income less dividends paid. That's 117.5 less 57.5, or that is 60. Divide 60 by 117.5, 
and we will get the retention ratio of 0 0.51064. The retention ratio can also be computed as 1 minus dividend payout ratio. That is 1 minus 57.5 over 117.5. Now we plug these components into our formula. The AFN is equal to 300 times 0 0.6667 less 300 times 0 0.0667 less 0 0.03917 times S3000 times 0. 51064. We should get 114. And that ends our video series on time series analysis and forecasting. Congratulations on making it until the end. As always, you can ask your questions in your designated Facebook group. Goodbye.